In this video, we're gonna set up Xbox Cloud Gaming for Xbox Series X and S developer mode. So you set your Xbox up in developer mode because you wanna be able to use emulators, but you do not like switching back and forth between retail and dev modes whenever you wanna play the occasional Xbox One or Series X and S game. Well, thankfully there is now an Xbox Cloud Gaming app for Xbox developer mode that you can install and use to play your Xbox games over the cloud streaming services that Xbox provides. This app also allows for background audio, so you can use it for party chat while playing your emulators, restoring that functionality to your play sessions if desired. But setup for this one is pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, you are going to need to have your Xbox registered for developer mode. Otherwise, you could just play games on your Xbox. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. So if you're interested in doing emulation on your Xbox Series X or S, I will have a link to my Xbox Series X and S dev mode and RetroArch setup guide for you to follow along with, get everything all set up and begin your emulation journey, and then you can come back and follow along with this video. But again, link to this will be in the description below. And if you're interested in getting other emulators or system core set up, my Xbox emulation playlist will get you all set. So link to this will be in the description below as well. But let's go ahead and get the Game Pass app downloaded. So heading to the Xbox Dev Store, link will be in the description below. Just scroll down here until you get to the Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming app here. And we're just gonna click on download. And with that downloaded, let's get it extracted. So it's just in zip format. So you should be able to use just about anything. And once extracted, you see we have our Game Pass app, a README on how to control things, and then a folder full of dependencies. So if any time in the future these dependencies aren't included, that means they're not needed anymore, but for now they are. But anyway, get your Xbox booted up into dev mode and just leave it on the home screen. So on your Xbox, make note of your remote access IP address and get that entered in onto the web browser of the device you just downloaded your Game Pass app on. Now on your Xbox device portal under my games and apps, we're gonna click on add. And you can either drag that Xbox Game Pass app into this little box here, click on choose files, doesn't matter which way you wanna do it. But just go ahead and get it selected. Now click on next and under dependencies, we're gonna drag each of those dependency files into the box here or click choose file. And again, we're gonna go into the dependencies folders and just select each one. Now, if for any reason these don't get added in, just refresh your web browser and it should work right away. But once everything is selected, just go ahead and press start to begin the install process. And there we go, the Game Pass app has now been added to our Xbox, so we are done with the Xbox device portal. So back over on our Xbox, we can see that the Game Pass app has been added. Now we need to make sure this one is set to an app instead of a game. So if you set up your dev portal to install everything as a game, you just need to press the uh, view button on your controller, go down to view details and make sure that the UWP type is set to an app. That way it can run in the background and do all this fun stuff for us. But anyway, once that's set, we could go ahead and launch into it. And there we go, Xbox Game Pass app now loaded up. So it may be hard to uh, kind of tell what's going on with your cursor to begin with. See that it doesn't exactly uh, show where you're scrolling best. So honestly, it is best to use the mouse mode for this portion if you want to select a game and get signed in and things like that. So if you just hold down the menu button, for a few seconds here, you'll see that a mouse cursor appears that you can now navigate the interface with. So we can use this to get signed in. So we can just go over to sign in, press A, and then we can get signed in. So the on-screen keyboard should work unless you have a physical keyboard attached, then it will not show up. But just go ahead and get signed in to your Microsoft account that you have Game Pass subscription on. And there we go, now that I'm signed in, it's showing me all the last games that I've actually played, so yeah. But let's go ahead and test out the cloud streaming. So we're just gonna jump into Halo Master Chief Collection, cause why not? And 
All right, so we just need to switch this back over to controller mode here. So let's hold down the menu button again until the cursor goes away. And it is not liking my controller here. So we're just gonna turn that off and back on, see if it gets it to detect. There we go, all better. So it is a beta app, so just uh, be aware that there may be a hitch here or there. But there we go, Halo Master Chief Collection running on Xbox dev mode through the Xbox Game Pass app. So here we are, Halo 2 Anniversary on Xbox Game Pass cloud streaming on an Xbox Series S in developer mode. So as always, performance is going to be based on your network connection and network speeds. I'm on a wireless connection right now, so it's not the most stable thing in the world, but it's doing an adequate job, just a couple hitches here and there but if I were to put this on my wired network, it'd probably work a lot better. But as you can see, it is fully working. We have control of the game. We can fire our weapons and do all this fun stuff. And it is working very well, all things considered, and an easy way to play your Xbox games quickly if you don't want to switch back and forth between retail and developer mode as previously stated. Now at any point, if you'd like to go into the Xbox dashboard for cloud streaming, just hold the view button for about two seconds and it'll load it right up. Alternatively, you can switch to mouse mode and then we just press A on the little tab up here to open up the in-game Xbox guide. This is where you're able to view your friends list, do party chat and all that good stuff so you can get it all set and ready to go. So again, just start a party and you can invite people to it. And again, this does work with background audio, so you're able to continue doing voice chat with this app running in the background while you do other things. And of course, you will need to have a mic attached to your controller for this to work. I don't have one here at the moment, so we're not gonna be demoing this feature too heavily, but just know that it is an option. And then again, you can get back to your game just by holding your guide button for a few seconds to disable mouse mode and Voila, we're back in game, back controlling our game and all good. Now, if you hold the view button on your controller for a few seconds, it will bring up a Game Pass app menu. And with this menu, we could do a bunch of different things like launch a web browser, go to the dev store, change volume settings for our app and picture in picture modes, mute everything. And then we could also set up favorites. And then of course, to exit this menu, you just hold the view button again for a few seconds and it will disappear. And if you loaded up a web browser, just go back into mouse mode here for a bit. This is the easiest way I found this and then just press some buttons to get out of it. But at any point while you're playing a game, if you'd like to exit out, you just need to go into your cloud gaming dashboard with either of the methods previously mentioned. and just tell it to quit game. And the menu typically works better after quitting a game, which is interesting, but it's a thing. But then you could just go through and select any other game you might want to load up. And again, you have access to the full Xbox Game Pass library. And then if you have any of your own games that you have bought that are compatible with streaming your own, you could use those as well. But that's gonna do it for this one, so Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming, really great if you want to be able to play some Xbox games on the fly while not having to leave developer mode or doing things like party chat. But here at the end of the video, just the usual favors. If you haven't already, thumbs up, thumbs down, depending how much you like this one, as well as hitting that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, please be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, as every little bit helps keep us going. Big thank you to all of our current backers. You are just incredible champions. Could not do it without you. 
Until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.